Hello today's video we have the following content. When Bruce Lee's Chin Shen meets Jet Li's Chin Shen, who is better? Many people have seen Bruce Lee's Fist of Fury and Jet Li's Fist of Fury. Bruce Lee's Chin Shen has clean moves, top strength and speed, while Jet Li's Chin Shen has gorgeous moves and is very ornamental. Both of them are top masters, so if Bruce Lee's Chin Shen meets Jet Li's Chin Shen, who is better? First of all, Bruce Lee's Chin Shen uses Bruce Lee's own boxing, which is Jeet Kune Do. This boxing method emphasizes fast and direct fighting, and can knock down the opponent in a short time. Bruce Lee is also recognized by the world for creating Jeet Kune Do. Bruce Lee's version of Chen Shen also uses Wing Chun, which is actually part of Jeet Kune Do. It is mainly based on the Japanese punch, which can be punched at a short distance and very quickly. This boxing method has become an important part of Jeet Kune Do boxing. In addition, Bruce Lee's version of Chen Shen also uses boxing, which is because Bruce Lee practiced boxing in his early years. It can be said that Bruce Lee's Chen Shen is not the real Chen Shen, but Bruce Lee himself. When Jet Li's version of Chen Shen fought against several Japanese students at the beginning, he first used the traditional grappling fighting technique, which can be used to knock down the opponent in a short time. Secondly, Jet Li's version of Chen Shen also knows some HUO family boxing, which was taught to Chen Shen by Chen Shen's master HUO Yuanjia. It is a basic entry-level kung fu. Later, HUO Tinjin taught Chen Shen the mysterious boxing, which greatly increased Chen Shen's skills. Jet Li's version of Chen Shen also knows some boxing, because this Chen Shen studied abroad and learned Western boxing. Jet Li's version of Chen Shen uses the combination of free fighting techniques the most. This boxing method emphasizes the combination of strength and speed. It can be said that it is very similar to Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do. In summary, Bruce Lee's Chen Shen is obviously more powerful than Jet Li's version of Chen Shen in terms of strength and speed. Next news. Karate champion Chuck Norris fought with Bruce Lee in Rome, but he was no match for Bruce Lee. In 1972, when Bruce Lee was filming the movie Way of the Dragon, he called Chuck Norris and said that he was filming an action movie and wanted Chuck Norris to come and play a villain. Chuck Norris also heard that Bruce Lee was also a martial artist and had long wanted to meet him, so he agreed to come to the filming site to see Bruce Lee's Kung Fu. At that time, Chuck Norris arrived at the filming site in Rome wearing a white karate outfit and saw a yellow-skinned man with his upper body exposed not far away. He only saw that the man was doing warm-up exercises. Cut Norris took a closer look and found that the man was Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee also saw Chuck Norris. The two smiled at each other and shook hands with each other. Bruce Lee greeted Chuck Norris warmly and then introduced the script of the movie he was filming. At that time, there was a scene where Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris fought at the Rome venue. Bruce Lee used a long lens to shoot at that time to reflect the authenticity of Kung Fu. Chuck Norris initially thought that Bruce Lee was only good in the movies, and was just a show-off. After all, Chuck Norris was a famous American karate champion, and Bruce Lee had never participated in a competition. At the beginning of the filming, Bruce Lee showed off his Japanese punches and sidekicks, which surprised Chuck Norris very much, because this was a physical quality that an ordinary action actor did not have. It can be said that Bruce Lee's speed and strength had reached a professional level. Chuck Norris began to feel that Bruce Lee's kung fu was not simple. After that, Bruce Lee began to show off his butterfly steps, which came from Bruce Lee's early participation in the cha-cha dance and the butterfly steps of boxing champion Ali. The steps were light and natural, and could effectively dodge Chuck Norris's attacks. It could be said that it was a combination of beauty and martial arts. After the filming, Chuck Norris also admired Bruce Lee very much and felt that he might not be Bruce Lee's opponent. The two studied martial arts together, took photos together, and became good friends. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 